I actually thought we'd lost him completely, or her. I don't know if it's him or her. But then I came round back along the road again, and, and there it was. Lying in the grass, enjoying, I think, a little suntanning moment as the evening draws in. <laughs> Is your butt itchy? <laughs> Having a jolly good scratch, maybe practice. I wish we could see him from the front too, Seth, but I'm not allowed there. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. I do want to, though. I want to go take a picture of him. Oh, there we go. You got your wish. Look. <laughs> See how his lucid skin is? Oh, is it a male or a female? I think I saw testicles, but I'm not sure. Yes, I'm sorry. I looked at your testicles. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> no. All those testicles. <laughs> Look, at his feet. Look at the right arm. It, 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 the foot twitching. That is so cool, like a doggy. <laughs> this is better than baboons. This is so cool. I don't think I've had a honey badger sighting like this in a very long time. Is that nice, buddy? No, don't. Oh. <laughs> no way. This is incredible. This is the best honey badger sighting ever. <laughs> no, don't go, don't leave, please. I don't ever want this to ever end. I want to spend the rest of my day watching you scratch your tummy. Come on. Pretty chilled. I mean, it hasn't, we, we're quite far away, but it hasn't panicked or anything like that at our presence. Crazebegs wants to know if it has mange. I think it's possible it might have had mange, and that's why its tail in particular is so skinny. My other thought is that maybe this honey badger actually suffered quite a serious injury at some point um, around its pelvis, maybe a bite or something that's caused a little bit of wastage around there. I'm not 100% sure, although its one elbow is very patchy which might suggest that it does have mange. A lot of creatures out here do get mange. I don't stop and scratch behind there. I'll be devastated. Mm, it's coming out. I dare, I'm so scared of starting this car in case it does its nonsense again and then the honey badger runs away. I'll cry. I, I mean, I really will. It, will. it will actually happen. But I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Okay. Don't do it, Rusty. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. It's gone. I'm really just, just everybody, shh, okay? Don't ever tell anybody about this. I shouldn't really be here. So just, you know, when you put screenshots in, make sure you Photoshop a road in. Just, if anyone hears a car coming, shout. I'm going to have to dash away from here. Oh, what's it got? What's it got? No way. It's got something there. It's pulled something out of that hole. Okay, hold on. Now I really am going. Hang on, I'm wondering now. I'm not sure. It's pulled something out of there that is either a bird or a baby. I uh, will... Please, nobody come around the corner. Please, nobody come around the corner. Please, nobody come around the corner. I'm being very careful. Sorry, I can't scare this thing either. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, it's got a leg of on. Whoa, this is awesome. No, don't take it away from us. Okay, I don't... I think it just caught it. No, I think it's pulled it up. We would have seen more of a struggle. There's no way a, a honey badger caught a leg of on of that side. Me too. I'm also glad it's got something to eat. I think it killed that thing earlier, got tired and thirsty because a leg of on can put up a serious fight. It's a, it's not a leg of on. It's a, it's a crocodile. 
It's a crocodile, I promise you. It's a crocodile. Whoa. No way. Sib? That is insane. I know, but it wants to keep moving. I'm gonna have to find the right balance here between distance and comfort. But, but how, where, why is that? Why, how did this happen? Snappy, oh no, Snappy. <laughs> This is a first for me, at least. I have never ever seen a honey badger eating a crocodile. Tim says best honey badger sighting ever. I know, I'm, I'm doing something incredibly naughty, but I'm going to get my camera out while we're watching this. I mean, there's only once in a lifetime you get an opportunity to take a picture of a honey badger with a crocodile, I'm just gonna say. Um, <laughs> Make it snappy, huh? Like it's lunch. Whoa! Man, that is cool. I mean, it's not that I'm against crocodiles in any way, shape, or form. It's just I've seen honey badgers eat legavons before, or rock monitor lizards, or water monitor lizards. I've never seen them eat a crocodile. Wow, that's cool. Oh, I found a tree. Sorry. <laughs> Remember I was telling you that story this morning? <laughs> yeah, sorry, Seb. I thought you might like to experience it firsthand. I just... I just am so intrigued. Again, obviously I'm trying to give it some space and I'm not driving too fast because the last thing we want... I don't know if this was Snappy the Crocodile, to be honest, guys. I, I have never met Snappy. Speaking of Snappy... Well, that was blurry safaris. Okay, I'll stop now. I promise. I do too. I am so intrigued. He's so... well, I mean, wouldn't you be? That must have been a fight. Wow, can you imagine what that must have been like? I think he's gonna stop... oh. No, we're dragging it away. The only way it could actually get it even better than this is if it actually takes it to babies. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I know I'm... Um... <clears throat> At present, I think we're okay. Okay, let's, should we go, Seb? Let's catch up and try and get ahead. No! I also feel the need to share, Kirst. I've never seen this in my life before. I'm just gonna try and get around. Just bear with me. It's going to the road. You don't have a choice but to bear with me, actually. I don't know. I always say that. Yeah, I'll let you know, Kirst. Just go around this corner. There, you see? I'm on a road. Luckily, Rusty's really subtle. Doesn't over rev at all. So I just went now behind this termite mound. There it is. Coming. If we can go around this corner, we might get ahead of it. I wonder where it's so determined to take this crocodile to. I mean, surely one place is as good as another to eat a crocodile? I don't know. I've never eaten crocodile. Do not stop behind that marula tree. Whoa! That is insane! Okay, let's do it. Cursed. Oh, no, don't stop behind the tree. Let's... Oh! I 
I'm so sorry about that, everybody. Hello and welcome to something that I have never seen before in my entire life that you are now watching live. This is a honey badger that we saw earlier, but it's eating a crocodile, which is something that I have never, ever, ever seen before. And I've spent many years out here. I have never seen a honey badger with a crocodile. This is absolutely extraordinary. This is unfolding live right here in the Greater Kruger, where you can actually send through your questions if you would like to ask them. This is incredible. I cannot believe what we are seeing. And we know that honey badgers are ferocious little creatures, and they have a reputation for being pretty much unstoppable under all circumstances. But this, this is something quite unique. This crocodile is almost as large as the honey badger itself. And yet somehow, this honey badger has actually managed to catch it. I have no idea how. It's extraordinary. Giraffe girl says, this is insane. It is incredible. I thought it was a monitor lizard when I first saw it. I, a monitor lizard is a pretty regular prey animal for this particular little creature. For those of you that don't know, uh, it's, it's it's related to weasels, but it is quite a large, it's the large equivalent of a weasel. Come, let's go catch up with it. Following a honey badger with a crocodile. We watched it go and have a drink, and I think what had happened is that the, it killed the crocodile, was exhausted after the battle, and then went, came, went for a drink and then came back to collect its prize because it just picked it up when we got there. It didn't... Hey, buddy. Oh, shame. It's getting so tired. Why don't you stop and eat here? I can't quite work out why this honey badger hasn't stopped to eat, and I don't think it's got anything to do with us. It's not bothered by us at all. So why, oh why, is it dragging it so far? It must have killed it by the water and dragged it and gone back for a drink. That's what I'm thinking. Given the distance that it's dragged it already, surely it's gonna stop and eat at some point. No, we're still carrying on. This is phenomenal. You never, ever get to see anything like this. Wow. Crocodiles are strong. They have incredibly muscular tail. Brittany says that this is something you don't see every day. You are absolutely correct, Brittany. You are not wrong. You do not see this every day. We did see this every day. I would just be going, oh, there goes another honey badger with a crocodile. But you don't see it every day, and I've actually never seen it. I spent quite a lot of time following honey badgers around if, in, in my early years out here in the bush. Rav, it would be a bit much to hope for. Rav wants to know if I think this honey badger is babies. I hope so. I mean, we, we're getting to the point now where we're going to struggle to keep following it because it's going on to a neighboring property. But um, I think it's taking food for babies. I'm wondering if that's not why it's as thin as it is because I can't make too much noise, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do a longer loop around it now. I think, I think it might have babies. Um, we did see it roll over earlier, and I have, as much time as I've spent watching honey badgers, I haven't spent that much time figuring out if they're boys or girls. So I think it was a, at first I thought it was a male, but I actually think it might have been a female. Because we, I thought I saw testicles, but I looked a second time and I didn't. There's a termite mound here, please, oh please. It's going to come out into the open, we just need to be patient. If this thing goes and fetches little honey badger babies out, I will die. I will honestly die, but it's worked so hard dragging this thing here. Why else? Why else would it be doing this? Oh, it's exhausted. 
Come on, eat your food. There we go. Now we're eating a little bit. No? We're off again. Up the termite mound. I promise you, I will fall out of this car. Now, apparently, many of you are concerned that it might actually attract attention to it by dragging it around like that, and it could lose it. It's possible. Why did it take it up this termite mound? My word. You know what it might be doing? I mean, I'm getting really excited, but it might be getting it close to a hole where it feels safer for that exact reason, rather than losing its kill. Yeah, it's going to go up into a hole here. Let's go round. Yeah. see the croc's tail yeah it's going into a hole it's going into a hole there it goes there it goes and into a hole and that might actually be what it was dragging it down there into for i mean all of those things but in a sentence that made rational sense it's probably dragged this kill all the way to its little home here in the termite mound so that it isn't stolen by something like a hyena or a jackal and a honey badger is fierce and it would probably be able to defend itself but if a hyena really wanted to a hyena could take that away